Elon Musk just confirmed that the Model Y is coming out of Gigafactory Texas will have the 4680 batteries and the structural battery packs from the very beginning. He also gave some other details regarding the new Model Y 2.0 production as well. Let's cover all these details and also talk about a few other production updates about the Model Y as well. I'm Jonathan and welcome to Cleaner Watt. Initially, Elon Musk had only confirmed that the Model Ys coming out of Gigafactory Berlin would have the 4680 battery cells with a structural battery pack from the beginning. However, Elon Musk just confirmed that the Model Ys coming out of Gigafactory Austin from the very beginning will have the new battery technology, the 4680 batteries, with the structural battery packs. This is something that I've assumed for a while, but it's really nice to have an official confirmation of this. I mean, after all, it wouldn't make a lot of sense for Tesla to build a brand new factory and put new equipment in it that would soon be obsolete. It also wouldn't make sense for Tesla to train a bunch of employees on an old process that was going to be replaced shortly thereafter. Having the 4680 batteries in the structural battery pack from the start makes the most sense, and I'm really glad that Elon Musk has confirmed this to be the case. Now this does bring up one big potential problem that Tesla could have, and that is the problem with producing one version of the Model Y at their Fremont facility and producing another newer version of the Model Y at the Gigafactory in Austin. How is Tesla going to deal with this? Like any tech product, customers are always looking for the latest version, and if given the choice, will choose the newer version over the old. I personally believe Tesla is going to solve this by producing the performance version of the Model Y first at Gigafactory Austin, while keeping production of the long-range all-wheel drive version of the Model Y at the Fremont factory. Step two of this process could even involve moving the long-range all-wheel drive version also over to Gigafactory Austin and manufacturing a rear-wheel drive Model Y on the Fremont production lines, similar to the standard range version that was discontinued shortly after its release, only with added range. Now I'd like to move over to a brief overview of the implications of having the 4680 battery packs in the Model Y. Once Tesla is able to fully scale and perfect production of the 4680 batteries, this could lead to future price reductions of the Model Y, range increases, and even faster charging. I covered this topic quite in depth in a past video, but as I talked about in that video, don't expect this to happen overnight. Initially, production at Gigafactory Austin will be at lower scale, and anytime you have lower scale production, until it ramps up, you can't reap all the cost benefits. Now, when it comes to when we could see somewhat mass production of the 4680 battery cells, in the Q1 2021 conference call, Elon Musk had this to say. Basically, this is just a guess because we don't know for sure, but it appears as though we're about 12 probably not more than 18 months away from volume production of the 4680. When it comes to the timing of when Tesla could actually achieve the cost reductions that they mentioned at Battery Day, by my estimate, sometime around 2025, Tesla should have reduced battery costs down to around half of where they are right now. This is my understanding of this slide that Tesla put up at Battery Day, and I've added some numbers and arrows for added context, but this appears to be what Tesla was showing. So of course, that's all really big news, but there are actually some other updates that we've recently got about the Model Y production as well, and now I'd like to cover those. Elon Musk recently took a trip to Gigafactory Berlin to check out the progress being made there. This was reported by the Tasmanian blog, and Elon Musk even went to Twitter to talk about the fact that he was going through all the aspects of the next-gen Model Y production system with the Gigafactory Berlin team. He also mentioned that he wanted Gigafactory Berlin suppliers to please accelerate. Now, I believe this is definitely in reference to the global shortage that we have right now of different components. And it really goes way beyond just the computer chip shortage, but it goes to a lot of other different products as well. This is, of course, making setting up new production lines and also manufacturing vehicles very difficult because as Elon Musk recently reiterated in a short interview during his recent Giga Berlin trip, you can only make the cars when all the pieces are here. It's hard to ship a car that is 99% complete. Tesla, of course, is not only dealing with these issues in Germany, but they're also dealing with the issues here locally in the USA as well. Electrek recently reported that Tesla potentially has over 10,000 cars right now on factory hold, which are not able to be sold yet because they are missing at least some kind of small component. However, the good news is that the part or the parts missing seem to be pretty minor, 
And according to this article, the fix doesn't have to be performed at the factory. Thus, Tesla is still able to move these vehicles to delivery centers, but they have to wait for that part to come in before they can sell them. However, even with these supply chain issues, Elon Musk still appears confident that they can start producing Model Ys out of Gigafactory Berlin this year. In that recent trip to Gigafactory Berlin that I mentioned a few minutes ago, he also mentioned, currently it looks like we will be able to start production end of this year. So of course, when it comes to the new version of the Model Y with the structural battery pack and the 4680 battery cells, that's of course what gets most of the attention because that's the huge technology change from version one to version two. However, the new structural battery pack connected to the front and rear castings should allow for very precise manufacturing with stellar fit and finish. Elon Musk also went to Twitter to talk about this exact topic. He mentioned that they were aiming for extreme precision with the next generation Model Y with tolerances being in the microns instead of millimeters. Now, when it comes to the current version of the Model Y being produced at Tesla's Fremont factory, based on what I have seen, the Model Ys coming out of this factory have greatly improved and have a lot more consistent quality fit and finish. However, this new manufacturing process seems to have the potential of being next level. We also recently learned that Tesla completed the first Model Y mega casting at Gigafactory Austin. This was reported by Inside EVs, and they even showed a picture of that casting from a LinkedIn post. This is of course the front mega casting that was revealed at Tesla's battery day and is an integral part of this new production process. Keep in mind that Tesla is testing and installing equipment even as construction is still going on on the factory. Tesla is not wasting time and barring no extreme parts shortages, they sure seem to be on track to start production of the Model Y in the factory in Texas by the end of this year. So in conclusion, with these exciting updates, it appears like Tesla is making great progress and appears to be on track for the first new Model Ys to be rolling off the production lines in Gigafactory Austin and also Gigafactory Berlin by the end of this year. The Tesla Model Y is already selling extremely well, and in general, Tesla cannot even keep up with the demand of their vehicles. However, with these improvements and the Model Y getting even better than it is right now, I see demand getting even stronger. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button because it helps other people find the video as well. I also wanna take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community that I've set up and how to support my work, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.